I just thought it was a really beautiful script. I was really moved by it. There's so many parts of the story that kind of show the great nuances of being a human. And to all of us. To all of us. To all of us. All Cheers. Of us. I want you to be my wife. Do you think that's fair? Marrying her for protection? Michael, as I sit here and look at this group, I can only imagine what it must have felt like for you when you signed on to do this film, knowing that you had six pivotal roles and actors to find. Well, it's three characters, remember? That's what's so interesting. It's three characters, but six actors. Linus and I know each other. We were at college together. Rupert and I have met many times before. Gina and I have worked together many times before. David and I have worked together many times before. Uh, and of course, Harry and Emma came on board very early. In fact, Harry was the first on board and then Emma. Do you think you could recommend some books to me? In exchange, I could give you more swimming lessons. Yes, I'd be happy to recommend books. Smashing. I have to say, he did come phenomenally prepared because he was, he'd read it so much. Quite often, directors have to sit opposite actors and convince them to be in things. That's sometimes how it works. It was really gorgeous being opposite somebody who wanted to play the role and could talk articulately about the role and already knew bits from the script. Emma, the character of Marion that you share with Gina, is going through such a fascinating crisis of love, of jealousy, of despair. Marion's journey is such a complex one. And especially looking at it from today and as like a queer person, it's quite hard. It was quite hard to put myself in the shoes of someone who would make a decision that had those consequences. But that's also something I think that drew me to it because I liked the challenge of that. It was a real way of like getting inside the headspace of someone living in that society in that era. But yeah, I love the nuance in within Marion, the conflicts that she feels, how she like feels so deeply for both of these people and is hurt so deeply. Personally, I'd love to see Mother Russia. It's the setting of my favorite novel, Anna Karenina. Oh, I haven't read it. Oh, you must. It's literature's <laughs> most tragic love story and the most true, because all love stories are tragic, aren't they? I hope not. The scenes where we see the three of you becoming such good friends, they're intoxicating. I think we were very lucky and had the time to create chemistry and to explore all the scenes and collaborate with Michael to make sure they got to get close. We explored scenes as the three of us, and then we would go away and explore scenes between me and Harry, and then Harry and Emma. If the audience wasn't buying into their friendship, then the fallout of everything and the way that they deceive each other wouldn't hit the same way. That is so tragically beautiful because of the fact that they all love each other so much. Tom. Don't ruin it. How would I do that? I'll see you about next time. So there was never any thought of having three actors and doing some no, kind of process. No, and do you know something quite interesting? It was never really ever discussed. So it was never part of any thinking at all. It wasn't even part of an early conversation. It was always six actors playing these three roles because we, I firmly believe that we change so much over the course of 40 years. And I think we are very, very different people. And that's what, that's sort of what this story is about. There's a place in time, I think, so much time has gone by that you can look back at a former version of yourself like it is a different person. Like you have a totally new perspective. And I think that's a really like powerful place to be able to look at the past from. I love stories that span big epic movements of time, but I also love characters that are holding a secret and are repressed, I think. <laughs> because there's a lot you can dig into. And obviously the Tom that I play is the man who's kind of frozen. The actions of this triangle of people indelibly mark them. But I think that the rawness of some of the elements of that time are never healed. You brought him back into our lives. You stirred everything up and now, and now you think you're going to leave and what do I do? Well, for once, Tom, you might take care of yourself. Oh, so now we're back to this, how I, I ruined your life. No, you didn't. But you did lie to me from the day we met and you kept lying. My Patrick's story really starts after the film ends and it's a story of terrible bitterness, I think, and, uh, and, and kind of blame throwing. I'm sure he spent the rest of his life thinking of this time and thinking, God, why did this and that and this and all that. 
so his, his life was changed in a very bad way. How much, if at all, were the pairs of actors able to figure out the performances together? Michael encouraged us all to go away and have our own conversation with our partners. I've been a fan of Rupert's for years, so it was a joy to get on Zoom for two hours and to talk to him. I was more excited that the premise that I might end up looking like Lana. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. I'll take my bad. bad. <laughs> I'm very flattered to be the older Harry Styles. That's why. <laughs> but yeah, it was helpful actually. Just, but also Harry's just very natural, and that sort of let me go. Okay, just don't worry about it. I've just got to find my natural way in my time period. What do you hope people will get out of this film? I think it's such a human story, and I think it's very realistic in the way it paints people with all their flaws and the ugliness of how we can sometimes treat each other. But also I think it speaks to a lot of stuff that's still very relevant today for a lot of people around the world who are not able to love who they love or express themselves in the way they want to express themselves. I hope people will relate to it and learn from it and see themselves reflected in all the characters, no matter who they are.